Our Artemis 1 Mega Moon rocket is rolled to the launch pad. The astronauts of our Crew 2 mission come to Washington and investigating the impact of dust on our climate. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On June 6th, teams at our Kennedy Space Center rolled our Space Launch System rocket Orion spacecraft and mobile launcher from the Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Pad 39B to prepare for the next wet dress rehearsal test attempt ahead of the uncrewed Artemis 1 flight test. The wet dress rehearsal test is currently targeted for no earlier than June 19th. Our SpaceX Crew-2 astronauts, NASA's Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur, Akihiko Hoshide of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and the European Space Agency's Toma Pesquet, visited the Washington, D.C. area during the week of June 6th to share experiences from their recent flight to the International Space Station. During a stop at our Mary W. Jackson NASA headquarters building, they met with NASA leadership and discussed their mission with employees. They also attended an event hosted by the Ambassador of France to the United States, during which the French space agency CNES became the 20th country to sign the Artemis Accords. The Crew-2 astronauts and their Crew Dragon Endeavour spacecraft spent 199 days in orbit, a record for the longest spaceflight by a U.S. crewed spacecraft. The Earth Surface Mineral Dust Source Investigation, or EMIT, is one of the primary payloads scheduled for delivery to the International Space Station on the SpaceX CRS-25 cargo mission. The investigation will use NASA-invented imaging technology to identify the composition of mineral dust from Earth's arid regions and analyze dust carried through the atmosphere from deserts to see what effects it has on the Earth system and to human populations. The CRS-25 cargo mission is currently targeted to launch no earlier than June 28. The main body of our Europa Clipper spacecraft was delivered recently to our Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. Engineers and technicians there will finish assembling the spacecraft by hand, then test it to make sure it can withstand the journey to Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Targeted for launch in October 2024, the mission will make nearly 50 flybys of the Jovian moon, which is believed to have an underground ocean that contains twice as much water as all oceans on Earth combined. The ocean on Europa may also currently have conditions suitable for supporting life. Our Ames Research Center recently unveiled a life-size display model of the agency's Viper moon rover for visitors at the Chabot Space and Science Center. Viper, which is managed by Ames and is part of our Artemis program, will be delivered to the Moon's South Pole in late 2023 to map and explore the region for water and other resources ahead of future human missions to the lunar surface. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.